Hey guys, this is Kawaii Life Antonio here, and as you can see, I am at Nickelodeon's Fandom Wikia, and I am going over all of the burn ops that have been shafted to the Nick Jr. channel. So, uh, the Nick Tunes treatment is, of course, infamous. It caused so many shows being shafted to Nick Tunes due to how Nickelodeon has been treating SpongeBob back then. So many shows like Harvey Big, Rise of a TMNT, LT Grey, My Life as a Teenage Robot, Breadwinners, and even the Fairly Odd Parents. Some got lucky, like the Casa Grandes, Minimos Post, and Sanji and Craig. Oh yeah, Mars vs. the Aliens, the series. But the Nick Jr. one, oh boy, did it have its fair share too. It started off, well, of course, it had the early years on Nick Jr. itself with the channel. But oh boy, when Paw Patrol premiered, it surged. Instead of like a few episodes, oh, it deals with seasons. Seasons, and I'm going over every single one of them that has been unfortunately burned off over the years. As you can see, an asterisk indicates that the program has had or had has or had new episodes aired on the Nick Jr. channel. So Bubble Guppies. Bubble Guppies managed to finish its entire run on the Nick Jr. block twice. It got lucky. Blaze, I can see Blaze finishing its entire run. Dora, well, of course it's Dora. Santiago, they might as well update it because Santiago has been unfortunately burned off. The upcoming season may or may not happen and may be exclusively on the Nick Jr. channel. Baby Shark's big show? Um, that's not burned off yet. Um, that's still currently running on the Nick Jr. block. Well, also be on Nick Jr. channel. Face Music Party. Face's Music Party got lucky. One episode aired on the Nick Jr. channel for a premiere, and then it was a crossover one, and then it was back on the Nick Jr. block. That's good news for Face's Music Party. Bossy Bear. Sadly, unfortunately, being burned off due to the whole takeover thing from Paw Patrol last year. Oh, Blue's Closing You. Blue's Closing You deserves so much better. It deserves so much better from all this. It didn't deserve this. This is Blue's Clues. This is Nick Jr.'s big franchise in the 90s. And he treated like this after a linear airing of Blue's big city adventure and all that promotion. They really did it dirty. And then you get the Tiny Chef show. Tiny Chef, I really hope Tiny Chef makes it because Tiny Chef is a good show. All right, now acquisitions. Max and Ruby. Well, uh, Max and Ruby, not really sure about it, about burnoffs, really. I mean, I honestly think that moving Max and Ruby to the Nick Jr. channel was a pretty interesting move they did. And uh, I guess it has been. It, it does make sense uh, for the more modern episodes. And it was a big thing on Noggin back then too. So with Max and Ruby, I can, I can, I honestly don't mind. Peppa Pig. Is Peppa Pig a burn off? No, 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 no. It may have a lot of premieres on the Nick Jr. channel, but oh boy, it was occasionally on the Nick Jr. block. Uh, I want to call this a burn off. Because, oh boy, Peppa Pig is still going on strong, isn't it? Oh, jeez. Paw Patrol. Oh, hey, Dougie. Oh, boy. They, they lost the rights to it. Oh, they got up through this. I feel so bad for you. Despite, hey, Dougie being a success? I really hope Netflix rescues it. Netflix needs to rescue, hey, Dougie, for U.S. access. You're not Paramount Plus, but then again, Paramount Plus, when it comes to streaming, I don't really trust that. Oh, Paddington, you deserve better. Oh, Paddington, 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 Paddington. They didn't give this show a chance, didn't it? Oh, my goodness. It lasted a few months on the Nick Jr. block, and it just shafted it all the way to the Nick Jr. channel. Very unfair, despite being a success in its home country. Man, oh, man, Paddington just deserved better. Kiri and Lou. Kerry and Lou was uh, originally exclusive to Nick Jr. and then it moved to the, and then it had airings on a Nick Jr. block. Kind of like the same thing with Peppa Pig, though. Kerry and Lou, it is, of course, less known compared to Peppa Pig. But it is a good show nonetheless. I want to call it a burn off. 
at all, in my opinion. Rebel and Crew, okay, that's not any time soon. Ryan's Mystery Playdates. Ryan's Mystery Playdates ended up at 3.30 a.m. Yeah, I got the Always Pack treatments on Ryan's Mystery I never expected this. And honestly, Ryan deserved better because, my goodness, those parents are just not good. It's just very unfortunate on poor Ryan like this. And it just ended off like that. And in a graveyard hour, graveyard time slot, Ryan, that's got to hurt. That's got to hurt. Now, as you can see, it has happened in the early years, like the backyard again. Four episodes from the fourth and final season never aired on the main block, and the set premiere on the Nick Jr. channel from 2012 2013. Two episodes were left unaired on Nickelodeon and the Nick Jr. channel. Reruns were aired until August 2018. And then The Wonder Pat. Six episodes of the third and final season never aired on the main network and it's set premiered on the Nick Jr. channel from 2011 to 2016? That's insane. Reruns were aired until August 2018. Currently shown on reruns on Nick Jr. Pluto TV. Oh, I wish. I wish. Neil Kyle Land, one episode of uh, During the Monkey King Castle, left unaired on the main Nickelodeon block on Nick Jr. It aired on the Nick Jr. channel in August 2011. The show stopped rebranding regularly on February 24, 2015, but returned for three weeks starting September 12, 2016. And oh boy, it's a bad idea for them to just air stuff that does not fit on the way. They aired Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2012. I did not notice that. I did not notice that. I remember when they arrived, but 2012 too? Even though it's, I guess, one day only? That's insane. All right, time for the first original burnout. Wally Kazam. I remember all of that marketing, and it led to it being burned off. Many episodes left unaired on the main network. It aired on Nick Jr. channel from May 26th to September 2017. Currently shown in reruns on the Nick Jr. Play TV channel. Uh, I kind of doubt it. It stopped rerunning regularly on 2020, but returned for one airing on March 31st, 2022. Dora friends in the city. Man, oh man. Not even Dora got a chance. It moved to the separate Nick Jr. channel in February 2016, leaving many episodes unaired on the main network. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Dora didn't get a chance to into the city. But then again, I think it flopped. All right, all right. Fresh B Band Spies. Many of the episodes were so, were scheduled to air on the main network, but they were pulled. Only four episodes aired on Nickelodeon before the show moved to the Nick Jr. channel. Currently shown on reruns on the Nick Jr. Please. Oh, Shimmer and Shy. A lot of people were not pressed about Shimmer and Shy. Many episodes were left unaired on the main network. They aired on the Nick Jr. channel from March, 20, March 2018 to February 2020. Rerun stop in 2021. And let me tell you, that whole Girls Rule Sundays idea was terrible. Absolutely terrible. It should have been at least on a Saturday, not a Sunday. Who will watch shows on a Sunday for a premiere? Because that is when it doesn't work. Saturday works because it's Saturday. Sunday, it doesn't work that much compared to Saturday. So, yeah. Winning Club, well, that was the first burnout for female aim shows, and, and, uh, okay. Now the Princess Knights. Oh, boy, Nella. First 23 episodes were shown on the main network premieres, aired on the separate Nick Jr. channel from February 2018 to December 2019. Three episodes from the second and final season never aired on the Nick Jr. channel, and set premiere on Paramount Plus in July 2021. And you know what happened to that? Yeah, it got purged. And WCO didn't even archive it. Not even Kim cartooned it. So that means they're lost media. That's not good for Noah. Sunny Day. Oh, they treat Sunny Day so dirty, didn't they? The first 27 episodes were shown on the main network. Premieres aired on the separate Nick Jr. channel from 2018 to October to December 2019. 11 episodes never aired on the network and set premiere on Amazon Prime Video in 2020. That's nuts. That is insane. That is not a good idea for them to do this on sunny day like that. Seriously, it got treated dirty. Despite being done by the same people who did 
Bubble Guppies. Many episodes were left unaired on the main network. They premiered on the Nick Jr. channel from August 2019 to August 2020. Reruns aired until August 2021. Yeah. Butterbean suffered too due to the whole Girls Will Sunday thing. It is not a good idea for them to do this. It really isn't. And oh boy. Fresh B Band. Both of their shows got unlucky, didn't they? Five episodes were left unaired on the main network. They aired on the Nick Jr. channel from August 2012 to December 2013. Reruns stopped in 2016. Currently shown on reruns on the Nick Jr. Blue TV channel. I kind of doubt it. Oh boy, so far, that didn't even last a year, didn't it? It aired nine times on the Nick Jr. block before moving it to the uh, aired on the Nick Jr. block. But its last premiere was on June 25th, 2021. But it continued to air up until July. All right, Abby Hatcher. Poor, poor Abby. Oh, no, that, that is very unfortunate on Abby. Like, it, it, it had those burnouts. And then they aired it on, like, weekday mornings at, like, 3 a.m. Like, why? Why? It, it, I, I do not like that. Seriously, Abby deserved better. Oh, Corn and Peg. Yeah, that got burned up. Dino Dan? Yep. Yeah, even though Moot to Universal Kids, has, even though it's acquisition, well, uh, Kuka Harajuku, they did, they did treat it good, but man, oh man, even though it's not a preschool show, it's aimed for the 6 to 11 demographic, but man, oh man, Disney Channel should have picked it up. La La Loopsie. La La Loopsie got burned off. Oh boy, me and me, that was. Not supposed to be on Nick Jr. This was supposed to be on Nickelodeon because that is not for preschoolers. That is aimed for the six to eleven demographic. Oh my goodness, Mike the Knight. I think Mike the Knight was also burned off, though Mike the Knight was probably exclusive on Nick Jr. Channel. Not really sure. Oh boy, Rainbow Rangers. They didn't really give Rainbow Rangers a chance, didn't they? No wonder it moved to the Cartoon Channel. Ricky Zoom. That got screwed over. Rusty Rivets. That got screwed over. The Smurfs. Why did they have premieres on the Nick Jr. block there? Thomas and Friends. They didn't give Thomas a chance. They didn't give that a chance. I, I, it was very, they didn't give Tickety Talk a chance. They didn't give Top Wing that much of a chance, even though Top Wing's kind of eh. Wow, Wow, Wubsy, probably some unaired episodes. Yo, Gabba Gabba, some unaired episodes. Oh, yeah, Deer Squad. I think that also got burned off. You see this history? This history is just insane about this. Oh, we don't talk about Nick Mom. Oh, we do not talk about Nick Mom. We do not talk about Nick Mom. All right, uh, look at that. It's just... Yeah, so many shows just had to be burned off. And... Due to Paw Patrol. I'm not blaming Paw Patrol itself. I'm blaming the treatment of it. Like, have you seen in Canada, they air it less? In America, Nigerian America? They air a lot of it. Like, a lot. Oh, especially on the block. There is no way that Paw Patrol might. At least Dizzy Jr. gives their other shows a chance. Even though many of them did move there, they did still bring good rings, even with the whole Spectrum thing. With Nick Jr., it's a 50-50 thing. And that here is a problem. It's a problem with these burn-offs and how they unfortunately suffered. And I honestly wish that they would stop. It's just sad to see them do this on Blue's Clues. It, it was very unfortunate for what they did to Shimmer and Shine. It is just very unfortunate for what they did all because of overclogging the lineup, both on the channel and the block with Paw Patrol. And Paw Patrol, like, I like the first few seasons, but then it's went a bit, a uh, bit much with merchandise-driven stuff. But, uh, the series itself, it's the, it's the person, it's the people that were in charge of Nick Jr. It's their cause of these burn-offs, and honestly, it would be nice if Nick Jr. would just move to basic cable already. Because this right here is just very sad to see about its history. Hey guys, this is Kawaii Life Antonio signing off. Peace. Such a shame that I really had a history with all these burn offs onto the Nick Jr. channel.